everybody. I am your girl, Shot the Queen Facing. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, again, I'm your girl, Shot the Queen Facing. Y'all come on in here. Welcome to my channel. Walk in, run in, jump in, hop in, slide in, be chasing in, thrown in, flying, sliding, gliding, flipping. Whoo, take a trip in here with me, y'all. I have to catch my breath. Anyway. Doing a short video again today. This is part three. I want to say this is part three. I hope it's part three. This is uh, the end of it for me because um, I don't know how to edit videos. Don't y'all come for me. I learned it one day, I guess. Y'all already know. I got to have my mojo this morning. Hold on. Let me give y'all a shot of this coffee cup that I'm drinking out of today. There she go, honey. There she go. Y'all know everything got to have something about the queen up there. Yes, hunty. Look, I might not be the queen of your life, but I'm the queen of this castle right here. Say that. Say what? Say what? What? <laughs> Look, you may not think you a queen, but I know I'm one. Don't come for me. Anyway, y'all, listen. Let me tell y'all what I did. So yesterday, if you go back and watch my video yesterday, I kind of did a, a video for my um, new beginner basket, uh, maker's basket, designer's basket, buyer's basket, admirer's. I did a video. Um, it ain't just. It won't just for people that's new though. Come to think about it, it was for anybody uh, that needed some information on um, how to do a yard sign. I, and I mean a simple, simple yard sign just to put out in front of your baskets or wherever you're setting up. I did um, show y'all the uh, plastic corrugated board that I got from Michaels. Told you the price of it, four ninety nine. It's plastic. I told you the dimensions of it was a 20 by 30. So I showed y'all that I was going to put my, um, I was just putting simple words. I told y'all I get lost for words. I told y'all I was putting just simple words. I want to show y'all, I got all, I got three of them done and um, i show y'all one. Then I'll tell you what happened. Because I told y'all, I was trying to use the materials that I already had here because I got a lot of um, vinyl uh, because I was doing, you know, glasses and trays and uh, anything that you could stick permanent vinyl on. So I had some vinyl. So I was determined to do these signs without having to go out and get any new vinyl or, you know, spend some more money. So I said, I'm going to do my sign and I'm going to use what I got. So I want to say, if you watch part two, I showed y'all what vinyl I decided to use. Well, guess what? I ran out of my purple vinyl, which I didn't get to show y'all, but I'm going to show you in a few minutes what these signs look like, and then the purple vinyl that I'm talking about that I ran out of, but I'm about to make it work. So I got one more sign left, so let me show y'all right quick. Let me grab my sign and show y'all what I'm talking about. Um, when I said, excuse me, y'all, for bending down. When I was telling y'all to uh, go make your own signs. Now, don't y'all come for me. My sign is not nowhere near perfect, but it's better than, <clears throat> than it was last year. So here we go, y'all. I, I finished my sign last night. Y'all see that? I finished my sign last night. I showed y'all that uh, this big roll of blue, because that's like a dark navy blue, and I had a roll of yellow. So then when I finished doing that, I decided, let me put the name of my business down here. Of course, y'all know my favorite color is what? Purple. So y'all see, I put the name of my business right down here, SWB, Custom Designs, S. WB, it starts with blanks, custom design. So that is how my signs are going to look, y'all, that I um, am going to be able to display outside um, when I'm outside doing my street sales. So, y'all, guess what? Like I told you, I was going to do front and back, but I really don't have to do back because, look, you can kind of see it. <clears throat> so it's transparent. You can see it in the back. But I think it came out good. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Don't pay no attention to any flaws that you may see. Because um, like I told y'all, if you don't lay that vinyl down perfectly and get them creases out of there, then it's going to fold, which they did on there. But like I said, nobody ain't coming, walking up in and inspecting the signs to make sure there ain't no mistakes on it. If they do, God bless their hearts. But y'all, I used the vinyl that I did have. I'm trying to do me a thumbnail, y'all. <laughs> I, I used the vinyl that I did have. And, of course, like I said, my favorite color, purple. So, I did find a little, little bit of purple, y'all. Um, so, I was able to get my signs done. I got, that. that's number one. Look, this is number two. Y'all, make your own signs. If you have to, if you have it, 
If you don't have it, then don't stress it. Do like I told y'all yesterday. Just get you some poster board from the Dollar Tree and, and get you a permanent marker and go to work. So let me show y'all what did happen on this one. Don't ask me. This must be the first one I've done. I don't know. But if y'all can see what happened on this one, um, it's out of line. Uh, nobody's going to notice that but me. Y'all probably notice it if I hold it up here long enough. But my letters start to go up, y'all, because I told y'all yesterday, and this is no lie, I can't do a straight line to save my whole life. It's something with me with lines that I can never do a straight line, y'all. But I think it came out good, y'all. I like the, the glitter, uh, the way that this vinyl has like a glitter to it. So that works out for me, y'all. Like I said, you can see right here where my lines did not add up right. But at the end of the day, don't nobody really care. Ain't nobody looking at all that because they mine. Now, if they were for customers, I would have made sure that I tried to do, you know, got the line straight. Well, I would have had my husband do it because I can't do a straight line. I really can't. So this is the last one that I have to do, y'all. As you can see, this is the only one that I don't have my business name on. And like I told y'all, I was using all the vinyl that I did have. Guess what, y'all? This is all I got left out of that. So I've got to make these little strips. Y'all see this? I got to make this little strip work with putting my business name on my last sign so that they can all look alike. And if I can, I can. If I can't, I can't. Y'all know what I'm saying. But I just want to show y'all again. I'm going to leave this right there because I'm about to do that in a few minutes. I'm about to um do this last one. But I wanted to get up here and show y'all. Let me drink my car. I wanted to get up here and show y'all what those signs look like after I got them done. So what I didn't tell y'all yesterday is the name of the transfer paper. You can get, if you're doing these signs um, with this vinyl. Let me sit that down for a minute. If you're doing these signs right here and you're using, uh, make sure you're using permanent vinyl. Permanent vinyl, y'all, the Orcal or either the Sicer or um, Hobby Lobby brand. I don't know that brand, but that's probably what my purple one is. I think I got that from the Hobby Lobby. Um, make sure that you also get you some uh, transfer paper, which is a clear paper that you use to get the letters off of your um, vinyl backing and put them on whatever products you use for them to stick up here. So, um... Some people, I use that Oracal transparent, um, I can't even think of the name of the paper, y'all. I keep going blank, but y'all understand what I'm saying. Uh, I use the Oracal transfer sheet. That's the, I guess that's the proper name of it. And I also have used contact, the clear contact paper from the dollar store. So if you don't want to go to Hobby Lobby, you don't want to go to Michael's and get that Oracal transparent, um, Walmart also has a transparent uh, pa uh, paper that you can use, but if you don't want to do that, go ahead and go to the Dollar Tree and get you some clear contact paper. I wish I had time to pull it out down there, but I don't because I didn't use that kind. This time I used that Oracle, Oracle or however you say it. But that again, that's that's what I use the paper that I use to stick them up there. I'm still puzzled as how that one got off of course, y'all. How that one got up. And the, and the other ones are right. I don't understand how my line got out of line. But anyway, if y'all have any questions, look, if y'all have any questions, comments, or concerns, <laughs> let me know. But what I was going to say is I use the ruler to, um, let me bring y'all down. I use the ruler. Let me bring you down a minute. Hold on. Right there. I use the ruler when I did these. Y'all, I have a long... <coughs> I caught myself using this ruler right here, and I just laid it down here to, to um, measure my letters. I thought it was going to be straight, but it didn't. So, y'all, I called my husband on my way home and asked him where his laser thing is. So, if you have, these are not it, by the way. I couldn't find it, so I'm going to just have to wing it again. But if you have a, if you have a husband, a boyfriend, a brother, or somebody that's good with tools or have tools, see if they got one of those laser line things. And shine it so that it'll um, shine the straight line so that you can make sure that your words line up straight. So you don't have, look, your up and down like I got on mine. So make sure that you have your line uh, straight. You can use that laser line or if you're that good with a ruler. Hold on. 
Sorry, y'all. So, yeah, if you're that good, <coughs> if you're that good um, with a ruler, then, you know, you, you'll be good to go. Like I said, I'm, I don't know what happened with them lines. But I just wanted to get up here to show y'all uh, what my yard signs came out like, what I was working with, and how I'm going to finish my last sign with this holographic paper. So, there you go. Make sure, if you're using the Cricut machine, make sure that you set your Cricut machine to custom um, so that when you go in there, whatever um, vinyl you are cutting with your Cricut, your screen will pop up when you when you get ready to cut it, and it'll ask you what material you're using so you'll know, because like I said, holographic uh, cuts different from your premium vinyl, I guess. Um, I just know I always set it by my computer so that I can get my good cut. And I always cut it twice. No matter what I'm doing, I always cut whatever vinyl that I'm doing. I always cut it twice to make sure that I get a good cut so that when I go to lift it up, <coughs> um, I have a good cut and my letters, you know, stay intact. The thicker the writing, the bigger the writing, the better uh, chance you got, you know, for all your letters coming off easily. If you use that thin, because I used to love to use the thin letters when I was doing glasses and stuff, y'all, and you're going to have a serious headache unless you're a professional at lifting that vinyl up. But if you use that thin right, you're going to have a serious headache and you're going to go through some vinyl trying to get them letters up. I'm not that great, so I'll be the first one to tell you. Anyway, so y'all, I got to get up off of here. I got to go find that laser so that I can finish this last sign. Until the next video, y'all, remember, keep your head up. Keep your head up. Mm. Mm, keep your head up, hey, hey, keep your head up. This is what I want to say before I end this video. Don't give up, don't give in. It may seem hard, but you're going to win. Hey, I got it, y'all. Don't give up, don't give in. It may seem hard, but you're going to win. Sales might not go good all the time. Sales are not going to go bad all the time. You're going to have some good days sometimes. You're going to have some bad days sometimes. You're going to have times when you have a flood of people. You may have times when you don't have no people. You're going to have times when you, it's mediocre. So y'all y'all know how life is. Just go with it, baby. Just go with it. Go with it. Rock with it. Flow with it. Hey, go with it. Rock with it. Flow with it. Hey. <laughs> Look, we in it to win it. We ain't about to give up. We in it to win it. We got to make this money. You heard me? All right. Peace out, y'all. I got to get up out of here until the next video. For real, I got to go this time. Until the next video, keep your head up. Keep your head up so your crown don't fall, y'all. Peace out. Bye-bye.